Hello, and welcome to lesson six of our FLL series on the fundamentals of LEGO Robotics. In today's lesson, we're going to dive into one of the most important mechanical concepts in robotics, gears. We'll explore what they are, how they work, and how you can use them to change the speed and power of your robot. Once you understand gears, you'll be able to design robots that move faster, stronger, and more efficiently. To follow along today, You'll need your Spike Prime Lego kit, a computer or tablet for programming, and a flat workspace. So what are gears? A gear is a wheel with teeth along its edge. When two gears are connected, the teeth interlock, transferring motion and power from one gear to the other. Together, they form what we call a gear train. Now, why do we use gears? The answer is simple. They let us control speed and torque. Speed is how fast something moves, and torque is the twisting force or the power behind that movement. When we talk about gears, it's also important to know the difference between driver and driven gears. The driver gear is the one connected directly to the motor. It provides the input power and transfers motion. The driven gear is the one that receives that power. This is usually the gear connected to the robot's wheels, arms, or attachments. Next, let's talk about gear ratios. This is the relationship between the two connected gears. If the driven gear is smaller than the driver gear, it will spin faster but with less torque. If the driven gear is larger than the driver gear, it will spin slower but with more torque. And if both gears are the same size, we will call this a one-to-one -one ratio, which means there is no change in speed or torque. This trade-off between speed and torque is at the heart of gear design. Now let's look at some of the different types of gears you'll encounter in LEGO Robotics. Spur gears are the most common. They have straight teeth and transmit motion in a straight line. You can use different sizes to either increase speed or torque. Conical gears redirect motion at an angle, which is often 90 degrees. These are helpful when you need to move power from vertical to horizontal. Bevel gears are versatile because they can transmit motion at many angles. 90 degrees straight like spur gears or even diagonal at 45 degrees. Worm gears look like screws. They reduce speed drastically but give you a big increase in torque. These are great for lifting or pushing heavy objects. Knob gears are special because they don't use an axle hole. They use a pin. They are often used for switching between two different speed modes without changing the programming. Now let's apply the knowledge we've learned about gears into building a gear train. Today we will build two gear trains, one with a small driver gear turning a large driven gear. This setup will give you more torque. The second setup will feature a large driver gear turning a small driven gear. This setup will give you more speed. After you build this, you can spin both setups by hand and observe the difference. You'll notice the first gear train is slower but feels stronger, while the second moves quickly but with less power. Now we can code the robot to move to see these gear trains in action. We'll first begin by dragging the yellow when program starts block. You'll always want to begin every program with this block. This tells the robot when to begin running the code. Next, add the set movement motors to ports A and B block. This tells the robot to set the movement motors to A and B. Make sure this matches the setup of the movement motors you have on your robot. After that, add the set movement speed to 50% block. Using this block controls how fast the robot moves. Setting it to 50% gives you a balanced speed. Not too fast, not too slow. Next, I will add the move forward for five rotations block. We can use this small amount of motion to test how the gear setup works. And when we use this block, the robot will move forward for five rotations of the motor. Lastly, you can add the stop moving block. This tells the robot to stop moving once it's completed the task. This simple program will make the robot drive forward, and you can try running it with both gear setups and observe the difference. Great job today! In this lesson, you learned all about gears and how we use them in LEGO Robotics. In FLL, 
You'll use them all the time to create designs and solve problems. Thank you for joining us for lesson six of our FLL series. Next time, we'll continue building on these concepts by learning about the design process. See you in the next lesson.